Hello good people of the interwebs, welcome to another video here on Food Chain TV. In this video, I want to take you on a tour of the grocery store to show you a few different varieties of popular tomatoes to help you learn which ones to buy and how to pick a good one. First up are my favorite type of tomato. The heirloom tomato is the most flavorful of all the grocery store tomatoes, but you have to buy the right ones. First, you have to make sure they're nice and squishy. A squishy tomato is ripe and will have the most flavor. The squishier the better, as long as they're not moldy. You simply pick up the tomato and take a look around and start squishing it. Now if it's too soft and the skin breaks, obviously it's gone past the squishy point. But look at this tomato. I squish it, you can see the skin sort of start to rumple, but it's still nice and squishy. This is going to be a tomato that's going to yield the maximum flavor. Now here's another great example of a nice and squishy heirloom tomato. See how nice and squishy it is? But the skin is still holding together, it's not breaking, it's just getting all wrinkly. This tells me that it's going to be a really flavorful one. Now it's okay for an heirloom tomato to have cracks and creases, but just make sure that there's no mold in the cracks. If they do have moldy cracks, don't buy them. Now take a look at this one, it's got all sorts of cracks and scars, but there is no mold. This one here is a perfect example of a nice heirloom tomato. Now here's an example with a tomato with a big patch of mold, and obviously you wouldn't buy this one. Any tomato that has a big patch of mold like this, you definitely want to avoid. Also, do not refrigerate heirloom tomatoes. Cold heirloom tomatoes will taste bland, and the cell walls will break down, giving them a mealy texture. Always serve them raw at room temperature. Heirloom tomatoes are best for salads, and they also make really good, but slightly expensive tomato sauce. These types of tomato I like to call slicing tomatoes. They're great in sandwiches and burgers, and so it's okay if they're firm. You eat them more for the firm texture than the flavor. And make sure they don't have mold, or they don't have signs that mold will start to form. If you take a close look, uh, you'll be able to see these circular little patterns appear on the skin. These tell you that they're going to get moldy kind of soon, so you want to avoid those. Now these here are what I like to call useless tomatoes. <laughs> um, and I say this because all they are is nice to look at. But when you eat them, you'll find that they're pretty tasteless, so you can't make sauce with them or put them in salads, and they're too wet to slice for burgers and sandwiches. They just kind of make a slimy mess. And they're also prone to getting moldy really quickly. So even though they look really nice, I tend to avoid these ones. Now these ones here are Roma tomatoes. Roma tomatoes are what I like to call the utility tomato. They last a long time before they get moldy. Uh, they're slightly dry on the inside, so they're really good for slicing. And if you can find them squishy, they make decent tomato sauce. Uh, they can be refrigerated, and the cold doesn't really change their flavor all that much, unlike uh, heirloom tomato and they're usually the cheapest variety of tomatoes. Now, I use Roma tomatoes for dicing into small pieces for tacos or omelets or adding them to dishes as a garnish. Now, these Kumado brown tomatoes are actually pretty interesting. Um, they look like a vine-ripened tomato, you know, like the ones that I told you earlier on to ignore, but they actually have a really nice flavor. They almost taste like heirloom tomatoes. I'm not entirely sure what I would use these for because they're way too expensive to make sauce out of them. And if I'm going to make a salad, I'll just put a more visually appealing heirloom tomato. Um, but they are worth a try. If you find them on sale, they are pretty tasty tomatoes. And finally, we have cherry tomatoes. Unlike the larger tomatoes, you don't want squishy cherry tomatoes. When you look through them, they should be firm and not have any mold on them. Now, old cherry tomatoes will have like a wrinkly skin. Uh, so you definitely don't want to buy them if they have that wrinkly skin or if they're <laughs> starting to look like raisins. They should be uh, pretty smooth uh, and very firm. Cherry tomatoes have the best flavor at room temperature, so don't put them in the fridge. And because they have a lot of flavor, you can use them for salads and you can use them for sauces. I actually really love simmering these down with a little bit of garlic, basil, fresh herbs, and making a really quick flavorful pan sauce to serve over chicken or fish. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. 
please hit that subscribe and like button. The more subscriptions I have, the more time I can spend making videos for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.